112, what's your emergency? Hello, my name is Bartek and I'm the chief designer behind 911 and 112 operator games. 112 operator is the sequel to 911 operator, a well-received game that I hope you already know. In the game, the player takes control of the emergency units, so police, medics and firemen, and dispatches them to various incidents, like all kinds of accidents, injuries, crimes and fires. The game has two important aspects. First is technical, those are the maps of real cities based on real geographical data. Every single city in the world is playable in the game. Second aspect are realistic voice-over calls based on real stories. Implementing real geographical data was kind of a rocket science. We had to process a few terabytes of data uh, and deal with over 100,000 cities. We used OpenStreetMap, so community-based data, and those have some huge problems with inconsistency. We had to deal with lack of crucial data, like missing hospitals and stations, missing roads, lack of street names, etc. Moreover, this time we decided to extend the gameplay by real-life districts and administrative areas, and apparently the system varies a lot from country to country. Another aspect is data delivery. We couldn't include over 100 real cities data in game build, so we had to invent a smart server-side delivery of those, based on so-called content delivery networks. On the other hand, we didn't have to do too much map design, as those could be generated. But we also decided to research the crime statistics and legislation in various countries that we wanted to base the gameplay campaign on. That was not an easy aspect too, as that data is not easily available. 112, what's your emergency? He's coming! He's going to kill me! What does that matter? I can see the train! I can't leave the building! My sister is there! That's way too risky. You might die! Concerning the calls to make the game realistic, we had to learn dozens of medical procedures and first aid instructions. We actually decided to teach those to players by displaying the instructions on every loading screen. And it did help, we received some number of thanks from our players, stating that those instructions helped them when they had an accident in real life. And that was one of our biggest successes and satisfactions. Apart from that, researching the subject, we listened to over 1,000 real-life calls, some very dramatic, uh, about various lethal accidents, suicide, murders, rapes, acts of vandalism or racism. We tried to represent them in-game as realistic as possible. We also learned how difficult this job is in real life, and here I would like to send my regards to all the real-life operators that save our lives every day. I hope that our game makes your work a bit more recognizable. By the way, our main voice actor, Ian, was a real-life operator and also gave us a lot of insight to the work. During the development process, we also visited real emergency management centers in San Francisco and Poznan uh, to see the work with our own eyes. Thank you.
Just a small glimpse into what we did throughout five years of 911 and 112 operator development. It was very hard work, but I think we did well considering that the game is actually used as preliminary test for real life dispatchers, and some schools utilize this to educate the children about how the emergency services work in real life. Sir, the fire is contained. We have it under control. Well done, people. Well done. <sighs> Sir, we have an accident involving a bus on the highway. Reports of at least 20 people injured. Okay. Get ambulances from the Southern District to respond and have the Northern District station their ambulances to cover any calls while Southern District is... Please consider playing the game yourself. I'm sure you will enjoy it. And you just might learn a life-saving instruction as well that I hope you won't have to use any time. Thank you.